Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Glory be to his name. It is 5.02 a.m. And this is, East, um, I'm sorry, Central Time. <laughs> I forgot, um, you know, I was on East Coast so long. But praise God, praise God. Well, let me just get to the point. Um, if you see my title, it's a Thus Said the Lord. As a matter of fact, if you notice that lately um, I've been saying a lot of Thus Said the Lord, um, God woke me up this morning and I heard the Lord said, tell them to prepare for my son cometh soon. Um, I heard God say, repent church, repent. I heard God says that count the cost, count the cost because so many people, you see the enemy has a lot of people food in this hour. The first thing is he got people food thinking he don't exist. That's the first thing. The second thing is people think they have a lot of time. God says, and you do not. The third thing God says is that the church is in a backslidden state to because we accept everything. You know, in these last days, as a matter of fact, um, uh, I don't have it pulled up. God says that even the elect should be food. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me tell you um, the scripture is Psalm 63 this morning. And it says, oh, God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land. And God said, that's what time it is. The land is dry and people are thirsty. They are thirsty for truth. They are thirsty for knowledge. They are thirsty for wisdom. They are thirsty for the anointing. And the sad part is they don't even know that they are. And God says, where no water is, come on somebody, hallelujah, to see thy power and glory. So as I have seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I praise thee while I'm alive. Oh, come on, somebody. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul should be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, y'all, they messing with my life already. And I ain't even started too much. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and you know, I used to get offended of them. But now I understand it's a blessing. Oh, come on, somebody. It's a blessing. Because I keep telling y'all, the enemy don't fight anything that's not good. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So anyway, it, it went to Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God. In my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. God said the enemy is using fear in this hour like never before. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all remember Psalm 23? Um, I will yet walk in the valley of shadow of death and I will fear no evil. He said, hide me from thy secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. And this hour evil is, is very much relevant. But God says, be ye not afraid. He said, for I am with you, lo, even into death. Come on, somebody. He said, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. Oh, come on, somebody. For that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Oh, come on, somebody. They, they, they throw a rock and hide their hand, just like the old people used to say. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately, they say. Who shall see them? God says, I see what the enemy is doing. He said, I'll be a friend to your friend and an enemy to your enemy. Enemies. He's been having me say that for a couple of days now. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said they search out iniquities. They love evil. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. But God should shoot at them with an arrow. Oh, come on, somebody. That's for you that feel weary, that's feel worn. God say that he has your back. Come on, somebody. Don't you forget the works of God. You know, when you're going through, remember your victory. Remember how God brought you through because he's going to do it again, said the Lord. Come on somebody hallelujah he say suddenly shall they be wounded he say and this day those enemies that you see before you you shall see no more said the lord come on somebody hallelujah so shall they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves god said you ain't got a plot you ain't got a plan you ain't got to get mad at them he said because their own tongue shall fall upon themselves said the lord hallelujah all that sh see them, they shall flee away. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider of his doing. We come into a time where they're going to have to respect the men and women of God. Because God is going to move on our behalf. I'm telling you. Oh, come on, somebody. In this last hour, open your mouth, like I said the other day. And use your authority, said the Lord. The righteous should be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glorify. 
glory. Oh, come on, somebody. You see, the enemy is trying to make it seem like, okay, that we're losing in this hour. Well, let me tell you something. The enemy is gaining ground, but God is still God. Come on, somebody. Jeremiah 31, 22, 31, I'm sorry, 31, 21 says, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Nay, said the Lord. Nay, said the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of stuff going on in this hour, but I'm telling you, God said, I will arise and I will slay your enemies in the front of your face. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Do not be discouraged in this hour, people of God, but this is a serious hour. Thus said the Lord. This is a serious hour. Count the cost of what you do, what you don't do, what you say, what you don't say. Because I'm telling you right now, the enemy knows he has but a short time. That's why he's tripping. Come on, somebody. That's why he's doing what he's doing. Because this is how he's thinking. He knows that he's getting ready to go into the pit, the bottomless pit. Come on, somebody. Where it shall burn forever and ever, saith the Lord. He said, count the cost. Hell is real, people. Heaven is realer. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. Count the cost, people. You don't know where will you end up in eternity. That's the question. The question is not about a bigger house, a bigger car, more money in your bank account, a title and status. I'm telling you right now, if you didn't hear the first, um, when I first started, you need to go back and listen to this live again, because I'm going to say it again for those that are just joining. Thus saith the Lord, my son coming soon, prepare, hallelujah, he says. He says, prepare earth. He said, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth because he comes with a two-edged sword. See, Jesus ain't just coming to rapture us up like y'all think. I'm not saying he's not going to do that, but he's coming with a vengeance, said the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, every tongue oh, 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 going to confess and every knee going to bow. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He says, but count the cost and woe to the pastors, woe to the preachers, woe to the teachers, woe to the apostles, woe to you who have lied on God. Come on, somebody who have deceived the people of God for money. How oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah, who playing games to be, you know, I'm going to tell y'all right now. And I don't just say things. I don't think y'all understand. Let me explain myself to you. You see, all false, false prophets and all liars. They will partake in the lake of fire. Point blank in the story. You don't have to know that they are um, lying to you. Right? But God knows. Now, if you have a spirit of wisdom and discernment and you have the anointing, you could pick it up real quick. But to be honest with you, we're living in those days to where many people have touched the unclean thing. What's the unclean thing? You're doing what you know you're not supposed to do. So if you taint it, you can't even discern between good and evil, says the Lord. And that's scripture. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's Bible. You have to position yourself to have a relationship with God because the enemy is trying to taint you in this hour on purpose. He has tainted the Christians until y'all don't even know. That's sad and it's not funny. Y'all know why Kanye could pull off what he's pulling off? Because the elect in this hour should even be fooled. The enemy that came in. And he did, really did a good number on the church. He got y'all thinking that, and I, I'm going here and, and I, I don't have choice because I will not hold back. Everybody wants to be a star. Everybody wants to be more important than the next person. My Bible tells me that Jesus humbled himself. My Bible tells me that he made himself of no reputation. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me this morning. So why is it that the people of God is trying to compete? with the world. Oh, come on, somebody. Half of y'all dressing half naked. Yes. Men and women of God, you doing stuff that you know God told you not to do. Let's be real. Let's just pull the covers back. If Jesus Christ was to come right now, would you be ready? If Jesus Christ of Nazareth bust that sky wide open right now, are you going to heaven or will it rebuke you with the rest? Oh, come on, somebody. Ask yourself, and not to judge you. You already being judged. Oh, come on, somebody. You see, I'm so sick of the world talking about, oh, only God can judge me. The devil is a lie. You, oh, you being judged. Oh, you definitely being judged. Everything you say, everything you do, God is judging you. People don't understand why a lot of people are dying in this hour. Let me tell you something. The reason why those youth are dying, because it's been written that they should die. Those that disrespect God's people. And disrespect their mother and father. You no, know, I like y'all don't know what's going on. We, we have a youth that don't want to pay mind to God, number one. And number two, they're unruly. But God says, warning to the people that have caused them to be unruly. We have a generation that don't know God. And that's why those kids don't know God. I said what I said, how I said what I said. Hallelujah. 
Everybody want to be more than what they ought to be. In this hour, we're supposed to be witnessing like never before. Hallelujah. But people still marrying. Let me tell you. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. God says that all his laws, they're trying to mock. They have a new show. Y'all know I don't look at TV like that, right? But when God told me to tell me to turn that on, I know it's for something. They had a show last night and they was marrying. It's called Married at First Sight. And I said, God, what is that about? He said, because they're mocking everything, every law I put in place that marriage is honorable. The bait is undefiled. He said, they're mocking. And I thought about it. I mean, even the titles of every show, just go to Netflix, go, go, go to every, sh I mean, it's, it's biblical. There's the evil, Lucifer, all kind of stuff is biblical. The enemy knows he has but a short time. And this is what he's thinking. I'm going to take as many people to hell with me as I can. And unfortunately, body of Christ, it's working. I'm telling you what God say. God say many people have rose their eyes in hell. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. And if you don't believe it, remember Lazarus and the rich man. Excuse me. If you don't believe that there's a hell, I need you to Google. I'm not going to tell y'all everything because I, I noticed a lot of people don't, don't just don't know scripture. Look, Lord, you see what they did? Y'all, they made my computer. They don't like y'all with that scripture. You saw that? Oh, but that's all right, because guess what? I'm going to go to that scripture now. Oh, y'all saw that, right? I mean, just made my computer go off. That devil don't like word. Y'all know that. Lazarus and the rich man. Hold on. I'm going to Google it in for y'all. I guess God wants y'all to see it. And if, it, it, huh? Lazarus and the rich man. Y'all, I tell you, they always messing with me. But guess what? I made for this, so it, it don't even matter. Hallelujah, it don't even matter. I ain't got to the point where this, this what we doing. This what we doing, devil. <laughs> I don't like you. You don't like me. Hallelujah. All right, Luke 16, 19 to 31. There was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared summer's things every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which laid at his gates full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. Come on, somebody. Y'all better hear me. Verse 22, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried and in hell. Let me go closer for y'all that don't believe hell. And in hell, he lift up his eyes, being in torments and seeing Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Verse 24, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. 25, but Abraham said, son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things. Y'all better understand the famous people, the rich people, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted and thou art tormented. Y'all better understand. Please get this word. Verse 29, come on, praise God, hallelujah, God is good, I'm sorry, verse 26, and beside all this, between us and you, there's a great gulf fixed, so that there which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can you pass to us that would come from thence. Then he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house, for I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. And Abraham said to him, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. Y'all ain't ready this morning. Hallelujah. He said, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. Verse 30. And he said, nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they would repent. You understand what this man asked? 31. And he said unto him, if they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded through one rose from the dead. Y'all ain't here. Man, y'all got to understand. So anybody don't believe in hell, send them to Luke. Praise God. Send them to Luke 16, 19, 31. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hell is real. Hallelujah. So I pray in the name of Jesus. Repent every day. Every day I get up, you guys. God, thank you for waking me up. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. I'm in my right mind. God, lead me throughout the day. If you say or do anything that's not of God, people repent. For the time is at hand. I'm telling you. Let me tell you what else God said. God says, don't you see the times? Rumors and rumors of wars. You don't even know the season. One day is cold outside. One day is hot. He said, you won't even know the seasons. Scripture is being fulfilled right before our eyes. Hold on. They mocking. Now, I, I, I'm going to say it again. I've already said it once, but I'm going to say it again. This is protocol. When you when you got saved, did God just put you up, up in the front? I'm talking about the real ones. I ain't talking about the fake ones. That get that little certificate 
off the line or go to Friendship University because y'all y'all don't know this, but I do. Most of the famous ones, they got their doctorate through friend. It's called Friendship University. You have to pay for it. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me for real. So my whole thing is this. This is the protocol of God. When you get saved, go sit down somewhere under somebody and learn something. Learn your scripture. Learn how to live a godly life. That's protocol for all of us that were serious. I've been in church since I was 27 years old. God didn't release me till I was 40-something. Are you serious? I'm going somewhere with this. So you telling me that somebody like Kanye West, who should have repented before he did anything, God going to put him in a fall front? Y'all don't understand that, huh? That ain't God. That ain't God. God don't operate like that. God do not operate. God is a God of order all day long. So how is it that Kanye West or anybody else can come and deceive the church? That's because the church haven't been the church in years. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said that prosperity message came and it really did a number on the church because now this is how people think. If you don't, if you're not blessed, if you don't have a mega church, if you don't drive a nice car, you're not blessed. Y'all better understand what this scripture just said. Lazarus was a beggar. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm not saying God wants you poor, but I am saying what I'm saying. Don't be fooled by this world. I'm telling you the truth. There are so many people. I see it. And I'm, oh, thank you, Lord. And he want me to tell y'all, if you wasn't on my Facebook page or whatever the case may be, I have been released to call out people again. I don't care what none of you say. It could be you. It could be me. Y'all ain't ready. Anyone can get it. We're in the last days. If you are a fake prophet, apostle, preacher, teacher, and God tell me to expose you, you expose, baby. And you can get mad. You can come after me. You can say, I really don't care because you ain't got no heaven or hell to put me in. But let me tell you how good God is. The reason why he exposing you, because he already told you to stop what you was doing when you was doing how you do what you do. Oh, yes, that's right. You see, the Holy Spirit whispers to you, stop. Stop, stop. And then when you were disobedient, that's when he sent a man, a woman of God. So you was already disobedient. So guess what? Don't come for me. Just repent and go get saved for real. Because honestly, when God rebuke you, that's love. Because he could just have, he could just allow you to die. I just say what I say. He could allow you to die in your sin. But, but he loves you so much until he'll send somebody and say, tell them stop playing. Tell them stop. As a matter of fact, he's done it all through the Bible. If you know Bible. Hallelujah. That's why they killed the prophets. That's why they killed the people of God. They got mad because they don't want nobody to tell them something. Ooh, sound familiar. We in an hour where nobody don't want nobody to tell them something. Ha <laughs> ha, I ain't scared. See, I'm already a dead woman walking. I tell y'all that on purpose. I know my fate. So I ain't got nothing to lose. And I ain't going to stop. Oh, yeah, I, I, did, I did it like that. Yeah, yeah, I got Ebonics this morning. I ain't going to stop. You can't stop me hallelujah you didn't stop me and you can't stop me hallelujah because i'm gonna say what god said to say and i know you don't like it because who likes it no one likes it i don't like it it doesn't feel good let's be real but it saves your soul hallelujah and that's what this is about so i don't care about you liking me they didn't like me when i wasn't saved so hallelujah god prepared me for such a time as this hallelujah and hold on don't get it twisted it's not that i'm perfect it's not that i'm the best and i'm the most holiest thing but I'm obedient to the law of thy God. And if I ever, if I ever, if I ever, I will rebuke my own self publicly. I have. When I've made mistakes, I've gotten on here and told y'all. Oh, oh, come on, somebody. So the same thing goes for you, goes for me. So don't get it twisted. Some of you, I, 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 I don't care what you say. You're not God. <laughs> You're just mad because guess what? I'm bold enough to say it and bold enough to live by it. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm telling you right now, God is not playing with any of us. And I do mean any of us. So I'm included. Don't get it twisted. I don't want y'all to get it twisted. The same that applies for you applies for me. We're all being watched in this hour. And God is watching fair. I mean, he watching y'all. I'm talking about, I'm serious. He woke me up. He said, woman of God, get up. Give a word this morning. And I'm. T uh, and this is my third time saying, he making me say it three times. Notice that's the number of God. Jesus Christ is coming. Repent, said the Lord, and he's coming with a 2S word. Hallelujah. No one knows the time, the hour, but he actually said that, and I'm not, I'm not a liar. Praise God. I don't lie on God. I ain't, oh, I'm too scared. I don't know how people do that. You must be bold to do that part. He said, my son is preparing. God had never gave me a strong word like that, ever. Not about Jesus Christ's return. So with that being said, 
Please, please repent. Repent to God. If you, if you don't know how to get this thing straight, say, God, help me. God, help me. God will help you because we all fall short of the glory of God. Don't get it twisted. But you and I both know. You got to tell people. You see, let me tell you something. That's why God is holding these pastors, preachers, teachers, apostles. I look at them and they come through my feed. Most of y'all on Facebook and all these other platforms lying. Y'all keep telling people about prosperity. That's not going to save their soul and God will hold you accountable. You're supposed to tell people to repent in this hour and, and lead people to Jesus Christ of Nazareth, not yourselves. Y'all, let me tell you something. They got so many fake people on here. And they know just what to say. And they're deceiving y'all. And let me tell you something. Remember about soul ties. You start listening to people that's not of God. You'll be the next person not of God. I'm just telling you the truth. Get mad if you want to. It really don't matter. Y'all know how I roll. Hallelujah. It's about souls. It's about souls. And I'm going to tell you what God told me this morning. Now, this was personal, but I'm going to tell you. You know, I know I'm a hard person. Because one thing God told me, he said, Deanna... I made you real strong. Everybody's not strong like you. So don't think I don't have grace and mercy. I understand we all have a portion of strength, faith, love, everything. But how long you going to stay weak? How long you're not going to do what God say? How long? How long? How long? Said the Lord. How long? He said, how long shall I suffer thee? How long you going to say you're going to make excuses? How long you keep doing what you're doing? How long? Because the word of God is real. There's a consequence to everything we say and do, whether good or bad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And spiritual warfare is real, Miss Freeman. You're right. That's what we in. And you can't, you can't do warfare if you're not ready for war. And you can't be ready for war if you haven't spent time with God. Come on, somebody. And in his word. And you got to touch not the unclean thing. What is the unclean thing? Y'all got to quit lying. Quit fornicating, quit committing adultery, and hold on, sin is sin. Homosexuality, sin is sin. Don't get it twisted. No, there's no little ones and big ones. Sin is sin. We all fall short. But how long are you gonna keep saying, Well, God know my heart? Yeah, he know your heart and he see what you do. You have to ask God for strength, but you have to do your part. This kind come out but by fasting and praying. There are some things you cannot get done without fasting and praying. Point blank in the story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray for your strength. I pray that you be sincere. I pray that y'all understand and have wisdom and discernment. Walk in wisdom and discernment. Time is short. I don't know if y'all really watching what's going on. Time is getting shorter. We don't have a lot of time like y'all think. And things about to erupt real quick. 2020, I'm telling you, something's coming, and the body of Christ is not prepared. But woe unto those that haven't prepared you. Woe unto those that keep doing what they're doing. Let me tell y'all what they're doing. I don't mind saying it. I see pastors preaching and teaching and fornicating and committing adultery at the same time. You see, it's, and, and I don't know if y'all noticed, I've been preaching this my whole life about the spirit of Samson. I love Samson. Oh, I love Samson. I love his story. But it hurts me because Samson somehow, he kept messing with Delilah, which is a spirit, y'all. Delilah is not just a name, it's a spirit. And we all have had a Delilah. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel a preaching spirit coming on. You see, that Delilah is that thing that the enemy sends because he's been watching us our whole, his whole life. Our whole life. He's been watching us, y'all. He knows what you like. He knows how you like it. He knows when you like it. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't play with me this morning. Y'all know what I'm saying. And we know that Delilah is gets us in trouble. And let me tell you how, how crazy it is. Because when you start playing with Delilah, you don't even know that spirit is draw, it withdrawing your spirit. It, it, it's pulling from you. Oh, come on. It's, it's called the Python spirit. Come on, somebody. It's called the Jezebel spirit. See, Delilah works with her cousins. Attila, the hun, all of it. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. The deceiving spirit. So think about it. He kept playing with someone that kept trying to get him bound with the Philistines. And I know he had enough sense to know every time I tell this woman something, which be a lie, she called in the Philistines. Samson was far gone. Some of you, you keep touching at Delilah. They keep touching at Delilah, whatever your Delilah is. Don't you know it's making you weak? 
And, and, and that's what it does. It wears you down to where you stop doing what God told you to do. Where you stop being who God told you to be. Come on, somebody. Because it's, it's an assignment to destroy who you are. Hallelujah to his name. So now you got to understand what reprobation means. You keep playing with that thing till the standards of God start wearing you off you. Oh, come on, somebody. What you say you'll never do, you start doing again. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because that spirit will wear you down. And it's subtle. It don't come big, bad, like a wolf. It comes subtly. So you don't even know that you're being distracted. Oh, come on, somebody. But it's a distraction. Who is your distraction in this hour? Who's trying to deceive you? Who's trying to pull you from God, men of God, women of God? Because I promise you there are some. And, and, and they're so subtle. But, but you'll recognize it because they're not going to come as a foe. They're going to come as a friend or a family member. Yeah, I say it how I say it. Delilah kept pretending to be a friend uh, and, and, and then tried to manipulate him. Oh, you have lied to me. You've not told me what your strength is. The enemy will ask you what your strength to destroy you. It get close to you to destroy you. Hallelujah. And, and, and what hurts is that people kept trying to tell Samson and Samson would not listen. Samson, Samson kept going further and further. And the Bible says, and let me go to it. I don't know what's going on this morning. It's for somebody, but let me go to it. Y'all got to excuse me. Okay. God, I mean, he didn't even know that God had left him, y'all. He didn't even know that God had left him. And I don't know if y'all understand. There's some deep stuff. Hallelujah. Samson was a judge of Israel. Chosen person. Okay, Judges 16, 20. And she said, the Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as other times and shake myself. And he wist not that the Lord was departed from him. You guys, I don't just say that to try to mock people. I'm telling you what does said the Lord. People don't even know that God have left them. I'm talking about famous pastors and preachers and teachers. They don't even know. Because you know when you, you've been doing something for so long, you, it, you just float in it, right? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So my thing is, Samson didn't even know. So let, let's go to verse 20. Um, let's see. Yeah, verse 21. 21. It says, but the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with the fetters of brass. And he did grind in the prison house. The enemy's after your vision. Oh, come on, somebody. Because if you can't see, you can't follow God. Y'all ain't ready for me. So now the enemy gets to lead you to the prison house. Oh, come on, somebody. In bondage. Be careful, men and women of God. Because that's what I we in. That's what I will be in. The enemy's trying to bound you up, said the Lord. Hallelujah. This stuff real. And some people, they so bound, they don't even know that they bound. Hallelujah. And get mad at the other ones that see it. Why do you think people don't like me? I'm not that great. They don't like the spirit of God that's inside of me because I'm going to see your stuff. And you don't understand if I don't see it, God can wake me up and say, hey, woman of God, let's talk. Let me let me tell you, because let me tell you something how prophetic gift work. A lot of people don't know because y'all got so many liars out here playing with the gift. The gift is God's. All he do is just make sure that we are ready and prepared. So what he does is he downloads the information. But hold on. If you ain't clear to hear, then you can't hear God. So you have to be clear to hear. That's why I can't go around a lot of people. That's why I, I really stay alone a lot. At first it used to bother me, but I understand how important this gift is to God. Y'all ain't ready for me. It's for the people. Pro prophetic is for the people. Hallelujah. It is to enhance you. It is to expire you. It is to expose. It is to exhort. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Because most of y'all just want somebody to exhort y'all. Y'all go have a nice car and all this stuff. No. Prophecy is all of the above. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Woo, I feel the power of God up in here. So I pray for everybody. Um, it's a serious hour. Get before God. Get before God. Get before God like never before. Love on your family while you can. Because I'm telling y'all. they want. They, this is what I heard them say in secret. The elite. We will bring America to her knees. And God said he will allow it for, for America has sinned against God. Do y'all understand what's getting ready to happen here? I know y'all don't like it, but that's okay. It's, it's true. Can you stop truth? Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.